come to you from Husky Stadium. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Washington has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. Taken from the 10. He's out to the 30. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. Oregon's coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the fact they're on the road. Well, Brett, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense just getting back and, and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big playability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. Gets out to around the 48. And a big run on third down. Anytime you can move the ball like this, you're putting a lot of pressure on that defense. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game of four on one play. That makes it second and six. Just throws this one away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He's taken down at the 28. There you go. Good read by the quarterback to give the offense a new set of downs. If the defense wants to line up and man, work that slant route until they stop it. He's into the open field. Brought down right around the 10-yard line. That makes it first and goal. He's going to try and scramble. And he is drilled at the nine yard line. Looking for his man, incomplete. Tenth play of the drive. You've got to give each of these guys credit for getting in sync, really fighting to create that touchdown. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. After review, they decided that the call on the field will stand. Oregon with a six-point lead. He makes the PAT. A 10-play, 68-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. And he'll return this one from the seventh. 
He's out to the 30. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Tackle made right around the 34. six-yard line. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him a first down. That's just a nice play. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 46. Strike to his receiver, no good. Steps out of bounds, right around the 48-yard line. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big caps for the running back last time. <laughs> Nothing flashy at all, but now that first down marker is a lot closer. Oregon is up seven. Complete. He's got room. He's knocked out of bounds at the 41 yard line. Call it again at 12 yards. Let's make these babies cry all the way back. Let's make these babies cry all the way back. Tis the mic. Tis the mic. Put it in. Put it in. Put it in. Put it in. And he's taken down at about the 45. A part of any quarterback's arsenal should be the ability to sell the run with a good fake. He does a really good job here on the fake, and then they pick up some nice yards. He's on the run. Tackle at the 21-yard line. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. pressure he's wrapped up for the sack the defenders played the snap count perfectly they found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away after the sack it's now fourth and long Oregon is up a score Well, they decided to go for it, but the defense slammed the door on them. That's the definition of coming through when it matters most. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan.
And he's tackled after positive yardage. He's scrambling. And they make the stop right around the 42-yard line. Six-yard line. Get to that quickly. He's a big target that the quarterback can rely on. That's a smart play looking to him to get the first. From the 22-yard line, first down. Down he goes around the 19 yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. This is the eighth play of this drive. Toss sweep and he loses yardage. Loss of four on the play. That brings up third and 12. So we're looking at another third down here. Shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. They're going to come up short here on third down to be able to pick up this first down, but at least they're in field goal range, and a smart coach will always take three points when he gets an opportunity. Down. to the halfback. Open, and he can't pull it in. Not sure about that play call as they fail on fourth down. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Oregon up seven points. And he tackles him hard at the 32-yard line. That brings up second and one. From their own 29-yard line, it's third down. Nice run, and he's brought down. Good for a game of six yards. First down. Scrambling around. He's at midfield. He's taken down right around the 38-yard line. That's a gain of 27 on the play. First down. Little handoff. He makes it to the 38-yard line. Six, 
Got it and brought down immediately. Oregon is up by a touchdown. Makes it out to about the 19. You know, Brad, that's the second third down that they've been able to convert on this drive. And this offense right now has really showed a lot of poise and been able to hold on to the football and try to maintain this drive. Makes it out to about the 10. It's the ninth play of the drive. Receiver touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The Ducks had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Fielded at the four. And he's tackled at the 30. Oregon's defense is playing lights out right now and pitching a shutout. Yeah, I would not be shocked at all to see this defense be able to maintain this. I, it just the way they're playing, the attitude that they seem to be playing with, if they can maintain the energy and the awareness of this offense, there's a very good shot that they could shut this offense out. Nice run up the middle. Caught and he steps out of bounds. So they'll get the first down there on the five-yard completion. And that's just great execution on that short pass play. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. Six yards there on the option keeper. I can guarantee you'll be seeing that one in the highlight reels. What a great, great run. A real display of all the tools that he brings to the table. the PAT. A four-play, 70-yard drive, and the result, seven points. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. From the seven. The 50. And they finally make the stop at the 29. Brad, let's see if this offense can maintain the rhythm that they established on that last drive. Not just putting points on the board, but driving the length of the field to be able to eventually put points up. I think that's going to be important for them to try to keep that confidence going here on this drive. That makes it second and two. Oregon is up seven. Him hard at the 22. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. That makes it first and goal. 
Now he's scrambling. Brought down at the two. The quarterback picks up around six yards on the scramble. That brings him second and goal. Tackle made just outside the goal line. Touchdown, Ducks. And he tacks on the extra point. So that's a six-play, 30-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. So our score, 21-7. He'll return it from the four-yard line. Tackle at the 27. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Taken down at the 45. Oregon's taking no prisoners in this game so far, Herbie. Well, they've really exploited some one-on-one -on -one opportunities and came up with some big plays that eventually have led to those touchdowns. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. We'll give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. On their own 43 yard line. Second down. Quick out to his receiver. And he's immediately tackled. He's on the run. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. And he's level at the 30-yard line. He scrambled, and they get the sack. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman. When the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. Number so the sack makes this a second and long. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. He's at the 20, and he's tackled at the 13. Nice play, baby. Three yards. That makes it first and 10. Right. 
gets to about the 11 yard line. And he's hit immediately. Punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. And he adds the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. And he'll return this one from the seven. Gets out to about the 21. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Tackle at the 41. This receiving core runs some great routes, and that last play was an example of that. As a defender, it can be tough to match up sometimes. There's a strike complete, and he's taken down around the 46-yard line. Six-yard line. It's second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Complete. Brought down. Nothing doing. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Gets it out to him again. And he is drilled at the 32. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. And they make the stop at the 21 yard line. Second down. The Huskies running back. He was injured earlier. You see him down there on the sideline, and it looks like he's ready to get back in the game. Quick throw. They'll bring him down around the 11 yard line. They need to convert down here and end their red zone woes. He's tackled at the three. That makes it second and two. Quick strike, and it's caught for the touchdown. converts the extra point. Washington ready to kick this one off. Fielded at the four. At the 30. 
He's taken down at the 34-yard line. The Ducks are on a roll right now, an absolute roll. 21 straight points, and the defense has no answer for them. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force them into a mistake. That makes it first and ten. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And down he goes at about the 43-yard line. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. First down. And he stopped behind the line. Man, did he play that perfectly or what? As a linebacker, you have to be able to read the offense and make a quick diagnosis, which is exactly what he did on that play. Second down and 12. Ball on the 45-yard line. They'll make the sack. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. We played one quarter. The Ducks lead 28-14. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's taken down at the 34. That was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. Didn't get all of that one. That turned out to be a nice little punt there. It was just a little pooch kick, but it was very effective. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Just throws this one away. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own five. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. Out of bounds, right around the 10-yard line. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. Gets to about the 37-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He makes it to the 35-yard line. From the 35-yard line. Second down. Makes it to the 24. That's a game of 11. First down. All day, just like that. Just like that. He's into the open field. Inside the 10. Big play, and it's first and goal. That makes it first and goal. And now 
Now he's got room to run. Touchdown, Ducks. That gives him another touchdown to go along with the one he scored earlier. Plays like that are just hard to stop. Once this young man gets on the move, it's highlight time. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The Ducks saw one of their top players going down earlier, but it looks like he's going to be able to get back in there. Oregon lines up for the kickoff. He'll return it from the four-yard line. Across the 30. He's tackled at the 36. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Quick throw to the tight end. Run down at the 46. Under heavy pressure. Quick throw to the back, it's incomplete. Running backs can take some big hits when they go out on pass patterns. So you've got to be ready for it. That time he took the hit and he dropped the ball. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Blue 14! Blue 14! Motion, motion, motion! Cut. And he tackles him hard at the 49. They come out in a five-wide set. He's at the 40. Tackle made around the 38-yard line. He gets rid of this one. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38. Under pressure. That's a great tackle at the 37-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. Man left, man left. I got you, 88. I got you. Hey, look, 48. Hey, look, Mike, 48. Let's go. Steps out of bounds around the 34 yard line. That's good for three yards. Fourth down. He doesn't want to touch back here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10. The Ducks obviously have built their offense around this guy. And through two quarters, everything's working, Herbie. But, you know, you can't just rely on one guy. And he's got to be careful a little bit in the third and fourth quarter, too. Well, you want to keep pushing. I mean, he's off to a great start. This offense is obviously off to a great start. It's a fourth-quarter game. And, you know, the opponent's going to try to get back into this game, take some chances. So if this running back is smart, he'll continue to challenge himself, his offensive line, and the entire offense. He'll continue to try to put more points up on the board. First down. He might have a chance. That's good for a gain of four yards. That brings him second and five. Tim's the mic. Run it. Easy, easy, easy. Lucky, lucky. Tackle that for decent pickup. That's a gain of four. That'll bring up third and two. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's tackled at the 38. That'll bring up fourth and one. Brought down at the 37.
Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Gets out to around the 48. He makes it out to midfield. He's got it out to his tight end. Tackle at the 41 yard line. He's at the 30, and he hits him hard at the 29. From the 29-yard line, first down. He's at the 20. He makes his way to about the 18. There's a very impressive open field tackle. The offense didn't get the playoff in time. Delay game, game offense. offense. Little stumbles like these can still kill your down. offensive progress. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. The Huskies running back taken out earlier, sidelined with that injury. However, it looks like he's going to be able to come back in this game. He makes it out to maybe the 10 yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Yeah, it was a short gain, but a nice tackle there by the junior who stepped up in traffic and made a nice play. This is the eighth play of this drive. Fires it out, and he's shoved out of bounds at the nine yard line. the middle and he's level at the one yard line so from a yard out the offense is going to try to stay on the field here on fourth down and goal the huskies had one of their key players go down earlier but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup decides to take it himself and he's got it touchdown When you're that close to the end zone, it's always a smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone. And he hits the PAT. Washington to kick. He'll return it from the three. And he's taken down at the 29-yard line. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. That's one where the pass rush and the coverage came together perfectly to disrupt the offense and nearly force a turnover. From their own 29-yard line, second down. 
Grabs it, and he might go the distance. Inside the 30. He's pushed out of bounds at the 17-yard line. First down. run up the middle. That makes it second and six. And he's taken down at the 10 yard line. Tacks on the extra points. A five-play, 70-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook thrust. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He'll return it from the six. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. And they make the stop at the 20. It was the defensive lineman that got a hold of him there. You're not going to break many tackles when this guy gets his hands on you. From their own 20-yard line, second down. There's a strike complete. Across midfield. They'll bring him down right around the 38-yard line. He's tackled at the 38-yard line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. That makes it second and ten. Got a man, watch out here. And he is drilled at the 14. That gives him 100 yards in the game. He poses a lot of problems for defenses with his size and skill. And he's really come through with his receiving today. And there's still a lot of ball game to play, fellas. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And down he goes at about the nine-yard line. That brings him second and five. He's tackled in the open field. Quick pass. He's taken down at the three yard line. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Once again, he finds the end zone. That's his second rushing touchdown of the game. The defense has to come out and make a stop in the next drive so this offense can get to work again. They aren't out of this game yet. And he converts the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Gathered in at the six. Tackle at the 28. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying with a big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. 
Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. He's on the run. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Good tackle there in space. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That's a loss of four yards on the play. That makes it second and 14. From their own 35-yard line, it's second down. And he stopped behind the line. Certainly, they don't have the return on here. And he's tackled at the 31 yard line. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that they've got to do something to try to get him out. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure, try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. He's going to try and scramble. goal from the five and looking to cap this off with a touchdown. Tackle made at about the three yard line. Now he's scrambling. Keeps it and he's got a touchdown. the extra point. Looks 
Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll take it from the two. Tackle made at the 21-yard line. What a great game for this quarterback, showing off a wide-ranging skill set. I think overall we're getting a good feel of why he's one of the top quarterbacks in the country. He's throwing the ball from the pocket. At times, he's taking off and scrambling and throwing on the run. And, of course, he has the athletic ability to be able to make big plays with his feet. The thing that's standing out right now to me, Brad, is his ability to break contain. If this defense is so determined to kind of get pressure on him, he's got enough athletic ability to get to the outside, be aware of it, and eventually make the defense pay. Looks to the back and can't connect. Number six, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it so it's second, second and ten. Ball on the 21. Oregon is up a score. Let's go! He steps out at the 23. and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. Taken down at the 50. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. From midfield. Second down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's tackled around the 37-yard line. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five-receiver look. Close one, but the ball goes out of bounds. First and ten. Ball on the 26-yard line. They go to the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. Loss of three yards on the play. That brings up second and 13. Hit out of bounds at the 20 yard line. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. What a relief it is for a quarterback to know that he's got a receiver like this who can step up when he needs him on third down. will try a little harder to secure the ball next time. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. So after the review, they reverse the call on the field. And 
they'll bring him down behind the line. You know, a lot of times, coaches look to linebackers for leadership on defense. And on that tackle, he showed you why that's the case. It's third down. They need eight yards here to get the ball in the end zone. Carries it again, and he's tackled in the backfield. No good on the play. That brings us fourth and goal. The kick is up, and he got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he'll return this one from the seven. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possession. Oregon is up four. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Zips it to the back. Tackle at the 27. Third and eight. Ball on the 27. Set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. Knocked out of bounds at the 45-yard line. We've got a great game here, folks, as we reach the end of the first half. Oregon's up by four. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Steve Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. You know who I feel sorry for in that first half? Who? The poor production assistant on SportsCenter who's going to try to sift through all of those highlights and come out with the ones he's going to choose to try to make the SportsCenter top 10. Da -da -da, da -da -da. No, there that, there's definitely a, a lot to choose from, but that's what you like as a fan. I, I think the fan, they like that and enjoy that more than they like seeing great defense. They like seeing guys go up and make huge one-handed stabs and guys make big long diving touchdown runs and they like all that so they're like watching guys hurdle over guys you see it all the time so i think the kids know that too and they're trying to do their best to always you know make a huge play make a big explosive play and put a little cherry on top of that play so that they can be uh maybe on one of those espn top plays that's it for us here in the studio what are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on yeah i'm gonna kick back and watch all these monitors We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Number four, back to return. It's fielded at the two. He's to the 20. Got the corner. Across the 30. He's knocked out of bounds around the 36-yard line. The Huskies have put up 24 unanswered points. One team can't do anything wrong. The other team can't do anything right. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Gives it to the back. And he's taken down the 37-yard line. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, yes, yes. 
on the ground, and he won't get back to the line. him out at about the 23 yard line. Inside the 10. Touchdown Huskies. having quite a game. Three rushing touchdowns now. If I were the head coach of this football team, I would give him the ball at least 30 times a game. Trying to go up by three. They'll kick the extra point. And he hits the PAT. A poor play. 65-yard drive. And it results in a touchdown. Washington to kick. Fielded at the nine. And he's taken down at the 29. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. They'll bring him down at the 37. How we do, D. How we do. Get a one out of this. That makes it second and two. Now he's going to run and watch out. And they make the stop at the 47. That makes it first and 10. Catches it, and that's all. They bring him down in the backfield. This defensive end just showed us why he's much more than just a pass rusher. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. Over the middle to his tailback. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. And down he goes around the 40-yard line. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's taken down at about the 37-yard line. Gets to about the 34-yard line. quarterback Kirby you got to wonder what that's going to do to the team morale it is next man up they've got to be ready to trust this guy he's tackled at the 17 that makes it second and two
10. Brought down around the one yard line. That's a game of 16. That makes it first and goal. First down. First and goal. You're going to go play action inside the five. Here's the time to do it. Some guys, when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. And he converts the extra point. It was a 12-play, 70-yard drive, and the result, seven points. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. From the eight-yard line, he's out to the 30, and he has it on the corner. He's pushed out of bounds at the 48-yard line. Kirk, you and I like seeing points. We're seeing points in this third quarter. This has been fun. And I think it's going to continue, Brad. I think the adjustments that were made at halftime have allowed these quarterbacks to go out and, and really be able to take command of how they want to attack each defense. It's going to come down to that final drive. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. That'll make it second and seven. quickly to the tight end and he shoved out of bounds around the 32 yard line got it tight ends got the first nice play to set up first and goal seven-yard line. That's good for him. Three yards. Down, down. That brings him second and goal. And he hits him hard at the five-yard line. Call it a game of two yards. That makes it third and goal. Throw, tight end, touchdown. So they go to the air, and they come away with six, Kirk. And Brad, I got to tell you, that's not an easy thing to do there. The defenses nowadays are so tough when you get inside the red zone. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. It was a six-play, 52-yard drive, and they put up seven points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Taken at the five. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Gets out to around the 28. That makes it second and two. Got 
Got a man. Watch out here. And he's tackled right around the 36-yard line. With the tackle at the 36-yard line. First down. Scrambling around. Tackle at the 42-yard line. That's a game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. He's at midfield. He makes his way to about the 48. Call it a of 10 yards. Man left, man left. First down. Mike 10. Mike 10, Mike 10. Jack! Fuck, easy, easy. Fuck, two, fuck, two. Quick out to his receiver. And he's taken down right around the 42 yard line. Game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. He's on the run. Gains his way to the 33 yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That makes it first and ten. It's first and ten. Ball on the 33 yard line. Now he's scrambling. Here's the eighth play of the series. The Ducks had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. Here's the pitch, and now the ball is free, and the ball bounces out of bounds. Kirk will get a player down, obviously in some pain. Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. He sails it long. And he hauls it in. That's a great tackle at the 12-yard line. And he tackles him hard at the 8. That's a game like that. Just like that. That makes it second and six. And they hit him in the backfield. Loss of three yards on the play. That brings us third and ten. This is the twelfth play of this drive. to that quickly. Touchdown, Ducks! And he adds the extra point. The Ducks quarterback down there on the sideline Kirk, you and I talked to him earlier this week, and he is really the main cog in this offense. Doesn't look like he's in that much pain right now. They need him back on the field before this one's over. And down he goes at the 21. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. Nice 
run, and he's brought down. forward to about the 40. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. It's a short kick. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. Out of bounds at the 43-yard line. Oregon is up four. Makes it to the 47. Tries to set up a screen for the wide receiver. They'll bring him down. It's the 42. That brings him second and five. Knock him down for a loss. Good discipline here by the defense, stringing the option out and plugging the running lanes. That moved him back. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. Quick throw, and they make the stop at the 31 yard line. And down he goes at the 27 yard line. Number seven on the tackle at the 27 yard line. That makes it second. Second down and six. Ball on the 27 yard line. He's got it out to his tight end. Brought down in the open field. Oregon holds a four-point lead. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Zips it to the back, and he's level at the 25. There's a missed opportunity by the offense. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Zips 
zips it to the tight end. And they push him out around the 49-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. And he dives forward. And he throws it away. From the 37-yard line. Second down. The Ducks lost a player to an earlier injury, and unfortunately, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to come back today. Quick throw to the tight end. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. He's under some heat. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And he is drilled at the 14. He's gobbled up in the backfield. He just never had a chance to get any running room. The defense was on him almost as soon as the ball was snapped. It's second and 12. Ball on the 16. Gains his way to the seven yard line. They can't bring him down, and he's in. to get into the end zone. He's a pretty sure bet to get six when you're this close to the end zone. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. He makes the PAT. Washington ready to kick this one off. Fielded at the four. Oh, he got nailed on that one. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Here he goes. Brought down at the 37-yard line. First down. And they get nice yardage on that run. The option to the tailback good for about four yards. That brings us second and five. He scrambled, and they get the sack. A great defensive end in, in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost saved their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down, when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. Tackle made at the 36-yard line. First 
He's on the run. They bring the quarterback down. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Throws a laser across the middle, and he's tackled at about the 27-yard line. It's going to be fourth and inches after that long pickup on third down. Well, what a throw by the quarterback. Almost equally excellent catch by the receiver, but the defense topped them both by coming up with a stop. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That makes it first and ten. run up the middle. That's a game seven. That'll bring up second and ten. on the extra point. A 10-play, 76-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. They line up to kick this one away. Number eight, a return. He'll return it from the three. Tackle at the 29-yard line. This back's had a good day on the ground, Kirk. Well, he sure has, but the offensive line has given him a lot of room to work with. They're just dominating the point of attack and winning the battle at the line of scrimmage. The thing that I love about this back that you just don't see every week is this kid's determination. Every single time he gets his hands on the ball, he's giving you everything that he has. And right now, that effort and that attitude is too much for this defense to slow down. Will they put the ball in the hands of their talented running back on this crucial series, or will they try to test the secondary? Either way, if they can get the job done, it would be a great win. He's scrambling. Tackle at about the 33-yard line. it out to about the 49. He gets rid of this one. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 49. Quick strike to the receiver. They come out on an empty backfield. And it's caught. And he's taken down right around the 22-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And he's hit immediately. Five wide. Down. 
They'll bring him down around the four-yard line. That's a good break. Yeah, yeah, one yard. That brings up second and goal. And he hits him hard at the two-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. And they make the stop at the one-yard line. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Going to run for it, but he can't get away. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Oregon is up by four. Now he tries to buy some time. And down he goes, right around the four-yard line. tackled in the open field. Now he's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in and he's got space. He's taken down right around the 16-yard line. Awesome running here on third down. That can bring a lot of confidence to an offense when they can pull that off so successfully. And he stopped behind the line. Nothing doing that time. Defender stayed home. The blocking wasn't there. And down he went. Flips it middle to the running back. He's tackled at the 23. He makes it out to maybe the 23 yard line. Oregon is up four. Oh, man, did he take a hit. And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, he's putting up huge numbers, and I think you can go back and look at every throw that he's made. It's like a human highlight film in one football game. And he's also been able to keep this defense honest with his ability to run the football. Will his awesome performance end in triumph or failure? He still has time to deliver another blow. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Complete. He's got room. Steps out of bounds around the 43-yard line. it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he stopped before he even gets going. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 33-yard line. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. He 
gets out to about the 11 yard line. That makes it second and two. Gives it up the gut. Tackled after a decent pickup. That brings up second and goal. Just inside the five. Second down. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Touchdown, and now they're in front. been a force getting to pay dirt three times and the defense has to be steaming right now how do you let the same guy score three times on you so the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point and he converts the extra point an eight play 48 yard drive and a touchdown as a result Washington is lining up to kick this one off from the seven makes it out to maybe the 19 yard line You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Very good tackle in space. That's a gain of 12 on the play. Man left, man left. First down. Mike 10. Mike 10, Mike 10. Great job. Great job. Great job. Great job. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. What a run. Here they give it to the tailback and a little misdirection play. And you can see the athleticism and the ability to make guys miss. Nice play. Nice run there. That's good for a of seven yards. Throws middle of the tight end. He might have a chance. Tackle made right around the 34. First down. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. That is a loss of six on the ball. That'll make it second and one. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. They bring him down. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. Once and all, going deep. Doesn't get there. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. And he 
and it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Washington has a three-point lead. Scrambling around. Now he's going to run and watch out. And he's tackled around the 41-yard line. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. That one will put the offense in a hole, and they'll try to get some of that back on this upcoming play. From their own 23-yard line, it's first down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Rose intercept. No, he dropped it. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. He's going to try and scramble. He's to the 40. Tackle at the 48. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. That's a great play by the defense. There's nothing like a defense being able to slip off of a block get into the backfield of the offense and then make a play in the backfield to be able to create some momentum possibly for this defense. From their own 45-yard line, second down. Fires across the middle, and he's taken down at about the 41. it to the halfback on the screen. They'll bring him down right around the 38-yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Washington is up by three. He's at the 30. He makes it to the 15-yard line. Makes it out to about the seventh. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and Here's play number 10 on the drive. He makes it out to maybe the seven yard line. That'll bring up third and two. And he's tackled right away. Anytime a running back loses the football, it puts a little bit more caution in his step. You'll see them covering the ball with two hands, and it sometimes can slow him down. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. He tackles him for a loss.
It's second down. Tough spot here, deep in their own territory. They line up in the jumbo set. He scrambled. Safety. Maybe he forgot where he was on the field, but he needed to unload that ball a lot sooner. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. This offense was infected by the turnover bug their last time out. Let's see if they can hold on to the ball here. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. Loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 43-yard line. Makes it to the 44. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. Nice run, and he's brought down. run to the outside. Yeah. 
So it's second and ten. Ball on the 33. Five wide. Quick out to his receiver. He's taken down at the 19-yard line. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. They come out in a five-wide set. He lets it fly. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. An eight-play, 56-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook try. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. They'll come back out looking to erase the rotten taste giving up that safety must have left. Defenses get a big boost when they can score a safety. So expect to see these guys flying to the ball in this possession, too. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And down he goes at the 27-yard line. That makes it second and six. Just gets rid of it. We've got a third and six here. Ball on the 27. Complete across the middle. He's tackled at the 37. That's good for the end of 10 yards. That makes it first and 10. Down at the 45. That brings him second and nine. On the draw play. And they'll get him in the backfield. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. about four yards away here on third down. Less than three minutes in the game. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. He steps out at the 50. First down. Ready. When you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 50. Dumps it complete to the halfback. Over the middle. Good tackle there in space. out to about the 48-yard line. There are two minutes to go in this football game. Aaron and out long. And he's got it. Powerful gifts. You're my mother now. 
and a buttload of other surprises. It's in the Jackpot Party Pack 6. Along with these other games I contractually have to mention, Jimmy Murder Party 2, your room is now ready. Late in the fourth quarter now, and with that score, this game's a one-possession ball game, and it's really going to get tense from here on out. And he hits the PAT. It was a 12-play, 78-yard drive, and they put up seven points. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. Tackle at the 43. Give all the credit in the world to the return unit for coming up with that onside kick. Now all the pressure goes to the defense to make a stand. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. He makes it to the 42-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 42-yard line. They go to the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. The Ducks are going to call their second timeout. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. and now the offense has got a chance to win it. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Oregon's plan today was to keep it in his hands. He has come through for him to this point, and now he's got a chance to maybe ice it. Yep, they're going to try to find a way to get him the football in space. And it's going to be up to the defense to have at least two defenders near him to prevent that big play. It's going to be exciting to see how this game finishes up. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 20. Quick shot to the tight end, and he can't pull it in. Terrific coverage, and when you clog up passing lanes like that, you can force a quarterback to make some poor decisions. Almost got themselves a turnover, too. Fires right side, got his tailback, and he's tackled at the 29. And if they don't convert here, then the game is over. Receivers got it on the screen. Tackle right around the 36-yard line. Under a minute left in the game. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. Makes the grab and steps out right away. of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. And he stops the clock with a spike. Third down and long, and they could really use a big play by their quarterback here this late in the game. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He gets hit out of bounds at the 30. Tenth play of the drive. Roger, Roger. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. I'm coming for it, son. I'm coming for it, son. Yes. 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 Yes.
Goes to the back quickly. Off his hands. Incomplete. It's second and ten. Ball on the 30. So this is it right here. One last play and one last chance to win the game. If they can get the Hail Mary, they'll pull out the miracle win. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. That makes it first and goal. Ready! Red 18! Red! The spike will stop the clock. Really great game to watch. Both teams should be proud of their efforts in this one. Washington, 75. Oregon, 70. Let's get Kirk Herbstreit's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? This is the kind of win that can make a team season. Pulling off the upset in nail-biting fashion. Fantastic team victory. Washington should have been happy just to keep this game close if you'd asked most people before the game. But how about this? They play a super game all around and show a ton of poise to pull off the upset. That brings this broadcast to a close. 3A Sports and Kirk Herb Street. I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.